Musicians appeal to all of us. Musicians do, and a lot of times the same musician. Because, like, if one is really a much better musician, you know, a real excellent musician, you just kind of tend to fall for them. <laughs> all girls do. You know, I feel great. I've sort of been on a nature trip, too, today. So I dressed organically for the evening. I used to be a groupie. When I went to New York, it was just all these people, you know, and everybody's super nice to me, and I didn't realize that the whole scene was all you had to do was have a body, you know, and, like, go back to a motel and ball, and then the next day the person didn't even know your name or didn't care who you were, you know? And, like, I made the same mistake about 50 times, and then one day uh, some friends of ours from England gave us some Blue Osley, and, like, we tripped, and I had on this really low-cut vest, you know, and, and this really risque outfit. And I looked in the mirror and I just said, wow, you fucking whore, what are you into? Uh, it, I make, it makes me, in a way, feel, you know, um, superior. I mean, it's ridiculous, but it really does, you know? I like English men. I don't know why, I just do. They've got a lot more charm. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, I, I don't know why I got this way. It's really strange. Well, I got, I got into the rock music um, when the Beatles came out. Well, there's only one way that you can outgroup Linda Eastman at this point, and that is to get Lennon from Yoko, which is going to be at least another two years, or Mick from Marianne, which could happen anytime some chick comes along who's just fucking incredible, you know? You know it's not many of them have that much to offer, really. You know, uh, if they got something special, it'd be cool, but most of the chicks are flaunting it around. They're just, just the normal run-of-the-mill stuff. They get used to it, I guess, you know. It, it must be like eating to them. It just kind of comes really natural. All of it. They get used to it. All the girls really falling at their feet, you know, and just... The, uh, all the groovy boppers get out of their scene. I don't know. Um... Well, you do know. It's a thing. Uh, it's a way of life, which I should imagine one, once tasted it is, is difficult to throw off. You know, because I suppose to the kind of people they can meet down at the um, YMCA or YWCA or what, you know, like, uh, groups are pretty interesting. I've never heard anybody say what to get out of it. I just, they just get that way of life and they're involved with, um, you know, I suppose there's some form of surrealistic glamour attached to it all. Let's straight back here, she back here. That's, these fingers aren't even in the front, so I feel very What's that perfume, with that powder? My Shalimar. Yeah, I had it. You had it last week too, didn't you? Yeah. Don't fucking throw it around. I don't fucking throw it around, but you hide it. Well, it's because you throw it around. Well, look, what if I hid my perfume because you threw it around? You probably hid it on me. You jerk, you used it last night. You keep what's yours and I'll keep what's mine then. We'll separate it from now on. Your money's your money and my money's my money and your powder is your powder. I didn't hide the fucking powder. Miko probably bought the whole up. What do you need my nail polish for? What do you need the keys for? Where are the keys? Oh, 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 oh,